Hi, welcome to Denta Vacation Discussion Forum. This is a great place to ask questions and participate in conversations related to dental work. Your questions and comments help us decide on future topics. Hi, Dr. Komal. Hi. We have a lot of questions from our viewers today. Okay. Are you ready to answer them? Of course. Thank you. We have uh, here Dan from Tuscaloosa, Alabama. Dan wants to know if he can go for dental crowns and uh, how to take care of dental crowns. Will they lose their color? Can you please elaborate on it? Uh, see, first we should discuss what dental crowns are. Dental crowns are basically what we call caps. Uh, they're basically a replacement for your natural uh, tooth crown. Um, now, they come in various materials and all these materials have a different lifespan. Uh, but in general, if they're made right and they are maintained in the right way, then they can last you a lifetime. Dental crowns can be of three types. The first type is the all metal variety. This can be of uh, base metals or noble metals. Mm -hmm. Now noble metals are usually given only in cases where the patient specifically requests them. Uh, these are the gold crowns that we see. Uh, the base metal variety has a very big advantage that it has a lot of strength. So it is used in the back teeth where the forces of uh, chewing your food are most. Um, the other thing about them is uh, that they are very unesthetic, so they are not used in the front teeth. So the second variety is the PFMs or the porcelain fused to metal crowns. The main advantage of these crowns is that they give you both the aspects of the all metal crown and the all ceramic crowns. They have a metal coping which is covered with a layer of ceramic. So you get uh, the aesthetics as well as the strength. Uh, these are again used in the back teeth for people who want to go for an aesthetic option. Mm -hmm. Since they have a lot of strength, so you won't have that problem. It seems that in case of PFM crowns, the dentist files down the teeth a lot. Uh, yes, well filing is done in case of all three kinds of crowns, but it's more so in case of PFMs, that's because these uh, crowns tend to be very bulky. Mm -hmm. Since there are two materials in the crown and the cement underneath it, which will help it mm -hmm. to join with the tooth, you can see how bulky it gets. So a lot of trimming is needed, but again it depends on uh, the skill of your dentist and how you maintain it. The longevity of it will depend on all these factors. The third kind of crowns are the all ceramic crowns. Now these are the options for people who want to go uh, mainly for aesthetics. Uh, these are basically used in your front teeth and they match the color of your natural tooth uh, to a very good uh, extent. Um, the disadvantage of these crowns is that they tend to chip and uh, break easily. Okay. Uh, they are the least uh, strong of these three and uh, this is the reason why they are not used in the back teeth. Because the forces are more there. Okay, so Dr. Komal, which is the most popular option for dental crowns? Uh, see, for front teeth, of course, you will go for the all ceramics. Most people tend to go for that because it's the most aesthetic option. And for the back teeth, if you want aesthetics, then you should go for PFMs. And if you're not concerned with that and you want to go for a lower cost crown, then the base metal crown will do. How does smoking or drinking coffee impact dental crowns? Uh, see, staining is a property which is different for different people. Some people tend to get uh, tooth stains very easily. So if you have such a tendency, then you have to be uh, moderate in your consumption of uh, coffee, tea or you know wine, things like this, which tend to stain your teeth. Smoking is another very big factor. Uh, this leads to plaque accumulation, which is basically uh, the increase in bacterial activity in your mouth. Um, now this bacteria can enter your gums and it can cause loosening of those gums. Now your PFM crown, the metal portion of it can show from underneath if your gums are loosened. So another thing about smoking is that uh, the smoke releases nicotine. This nicotine can cause your perioral muscles, the muscles around your face to tense up. Uh, this will cause grinding of the upper and lower teeth against each other. Uh, what this means for your dental crown is that the cement layer inside can break down. Uh, the bacteria from your mouth, the staining substances, all of this can enter this layer. 
and cause staining. Why do dental crowns maintain their color over years and our natural teeth with this strong enamel on top of it get discolored over time, get stained? Uh, see the dental crowns have the topmost uh, glaze layer. This layer prevents the sticking of debris, any kind of uh, food stuff or staining material to it. So this will prevent it from getting stained. Um, other than this, uh, the natural teeth, they have this layer of enamel, but uh, again, it's not as resistant as the uh, material of the crown. But your crowns can get stained if they are chipped off or they are broken or if the cement layer is broken underneath. So it seems uh, this glaze is like a layer of super enamel on top of these crowns that keep them from staining and keep them as uh, good as new for many years to come. Yes, the only condition here is that the glaze layer should not get damaged. Mm -hmm. If it's damaged, then there is no guarantee mm -hmm. as to whether they'll get stained or not. Okay. So how do you take care of these uh, dental crowns so they don't get damaged and uh, have a long life? See, uh, the most important thing to know here is that your general cleaning practices can go a long way. The first thing is you need to brush your teeth twice a day, you need to floss every day and visit your dentist at least every six months for scaling. Uh, if you're a smoker, you need to do this more often since your plaque accumulation is more. Um, apart from this, you can, if your tooth has, get, uh, has stained, then you can go for whitening procedures. Tooth whitening procedures are very frequently used nowadays. You can use the at-home techniques or you can go to your dentist and they can uh, provide you with the necessary information. Veneers is another option you can go for. Veneers is basically a layer of porcelain that is attached to the front of your teeth. Now this shade will be matched to the shade of your crown so it won't appear to be uh, different. Uh, and it gives a very aesthetic look when we talk about appearance. So uh, this is another option for people who have discolored teeth. Okay. Dr. Komal, this has been a very informative session. We learned a lot. I'm sure our viewers would say the same. And again, appreciate you for being with us. Thank you so much. Thank you so much.